isn't this a lovely angel feather it's the biggest angel feather that uh, I've seen uh, and possibly that you might have seen as well and it matches the swans on my cardigan which I didn't realize anyway I'm not here to talk about that I'm here for the um, your weekly forecast for the week Sunday the 30th of August 2015. Um, my name is Barbara, Barbara Burgess and I'm a psychic medium and I'm going to use this week Angel Answers Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. Lovely box isn't it? Lovely box and lovely cards. Now last week, oops, this one fell out already, um, but I wanted to bless them and shuffle them. So this is what I normally do. Um, it's best to, be to bless and shuffle the cards. But last week I spoke to you about dragons. And yesterday I took my dog for a walk in the woods. Um, I tend to walk quite fast and get hot so I didn't wear a coat and I met a lady and she said isn't it a beautiful day and it was it was lovely and sunny it was warm um, it was evening time and um, the wind wasn't blowing so I don't mind if the wind blows but it was so still and quiet and I was just thinking how lovely it was and then it started chucking it down with rain. I wasn't far from the car, actually, um, about two to three minutes, but I happened to be going down a, a little pathway completely covered in bushes, so I was able to shelter from the rain. And it was actually coming sideways. It was really uh, strong winds and a lot of rain, torrential rain. But I was okay. I just got a few spots on me. And so I thought the skies looked really black. So I thought, right, we'll call in the dragons. Um, now, with angels, there's an angel for everything. There's an angel for just about everything. An angel for happiness, an angel for joy, an angel for flowers. Whatever you want an angel for, there is an angel so to my mind, I thought there must be a dragon for everything as well. So I called in the wind dragon to blow the clouds away. I didn't want all the clouds to blow away because it's no good uh, asking for all the clouds to disappear and we've got permanent sunshine and the next minute we've got a drought and a hosepipe ban. So one has to be very careful with what one asks for. And I called upon the wind dragons to blow the clouds away, just a little gap, so that the ground I walked upon uh, was dry, and I was dry, and so was the dog dry. Um, so I called upon the wind dragons. I also called upon the air dragons to blow the clouds away, and I called upon the uh, fire dragons to allow the sun to shine on us, and I called upon the earth dragons so that the ground I walked upon would be dry. And it's, you know, it could happen instantly, occasionally. It has happened to me instantly. But the sky was really, really black and um, I had to wait a few minutes. And then it was that very fine rain and I thought, oh well, I'll just walk in the very fine rain. And by the time I got you know, halfway back to the car after a couple of minutes, uh, the rain had completely stopped and by the time I got home, the sun was shining. So that was lovely. Um, if you try it, be specific, as I said last week, and also don't forget to say thank you. Now, uh, that also brings to mind, uh, many years ago, I can't remember how long ago, um, we had a very very dry summer here in the UK a, a drought and there was a hosepipe ban and everyone was talking about the drought and then the drought stopped and we had rain 
and we had rain and rain and rain and rain and probably what happened that everyone was pray praying for rain but they didn't say how much and they didn't say for how long and so it just kept raining i think we had floods after the drought we had floods so do be specific right um i'm going to do some uh webinars video tutorials about angels and that's why i've got my angel feather um i'm organizing them at the moment if anybody's interested okay so i've got my cards here again beautiful gold on the edges lovely pictures i'll show you the words when the, i get the card but i don't actually see those words and those pictures i tend to see different things as to what is on the card so I'm going, just going to quickly bless the cards, bless them and cleanse them. And I will shuffle them and we want a card for the beginning of the week. So we shall see if they fall out, pop out, shoot out as I'm shuffling well it not them it a card for the beginning of the week as we go into this new week that's coming and if they don't shoot out I will just have to pick one um, I work with spirit and spirit work with me in different ways perhaps this week I've got to pick one out they're not going to play play games so I am going to pull these cards out beginning of the week middle of the week end of the week there we go so the card at the top is the beginning of the week and we have Quan Yin compassion Okay, so I hold it right close because as I said, um, I don't always see the words on the card or the pictures. And again, with angel messages, they come in all shapes and sizes. So even though what, what I say about this card may it may mean something different to you the words on it may mean something different to you but this compassion this is about being compassionate towards yourself um not spirit saying don't doubt yourself don't doubt yourself your thoughts your ideas because they have come from heaven above they've come from a greater source a greater power you know, Spirit, God, Jesus, um, our Lord, they, they know us inside out. They know the bigger picture. Often when we've got problems, we're, we're so focused. All we can see is that problem. We can't see anything else. Have you ever been about, uh, and you, you're thinking of something, you're worrying about something, and somebody comes up and, and you go, leave me alone, leave me alone. I can't think about that. I can only focus on, on this, on my problem. So that's what this is about, the beginning of the week. It's being compassionate. It's, it's about looking after you and being forgiving. Um, you know, don't berate yourself. Don't tell yourself off. Be forgiving, be compassionate towards yourself. Um, the words on the card are release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. Um, that's very very true but this is more about being compassionate towards yourself um, let things go okay if you've got an itch you don't scratch it if you scratch 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 actually I, when I went out yesterday I got bitten by gnats <laughs> oh, they, they were in Nottinghamshire we're supposed to have the biggest gnats in the UK but these were minute and I am bitten 
But if you were to scratch yourself, scratch, 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 continually, continually, you'd end up bleeding probably. Uh, so that's what this is about. Don't niggle at yourself. Don't niggle at things. Don't pick at things. Don't judge yourself. Appreciate yourself. Appreciation, the vibration of appreciation is the same vibration as love. This is for the middle of the week. Rhiannon. Rhiannon. Sorceress. Sorceress. Okay, let me just see if I can get the words up on there as well. You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. But what this card is saying, uh, the message for me to give out to you is, you're saying, I can't do it. <laughs> you're saying you doubt yourself. I can't do it. I'm not going to do it. It's too scary. Um, it's not that I don't want to do it. I do want to do it, but... I'm not going to do it. What will people think if I do it? Um, so it is about being scared, being afraid. Um, you can see this lady on a, her horse. In, in, the horse is going forward, but the, the lady is, um, you know, she's back here. The rider it is, I'm not quite sure, I daren't. Uh, spirit are also talking about forgiveness so forgiving yourself you know don't um, again don't berate yourself even if you do feel scared even if what you want to do is scary don't berate yourself be compassionate towards yourself okay so it might be scary whatever it is you want to do it might well be scary but this lady's riding a magical unicorn. The unicorns, angels, fairies will all help you. Spirit, uh, uh, there must be a lot of people uh, interested in fairies watching this video. If you love gardening, then you're into fa fairies. Okay, so Spirit are saying that the fairies, gnomes, pixies, elementals, um, they will all help. Same as the dragons. You know, I asked the dragons for help. If you've got something you, you, you want to do and you're a bit scared, ask everybody, anybody and everybody. Um, when I first became a medium and re first realised I was psychic, I read books by Betty Shine. And she says that if she wanted anything, she would ask everybody. Everybody in the spirit world. So say she was poorly, which she often was before she became a medium. She would pray to spirit doctors, nurses, uh, dentists, surgeons, anybody and everybody. So uh, whatever it is you've got, whatever problem it is, pray to for assistance from anybody. And I'm talking about legal matters i do feel some people have got legal matters so pray that um i can't think who who's legal solicitors any there must be hundreds of solicitors in the spirit world hundreds of doctors nurses dentists vets you name it ordinary people as well so just pray for help from those people so whatever is your problem pray that the people who are now in the spirit world and have gone through the same will help you um, you can ask for the highest of the high so that you don't get um, you know in the, uh, there's duality everywhere there's yes and no good and bad night and day there's two of everything so you don't want um, you know if you're going to have an operation you don't want some silly old quack doctor from the spirit world helping you do you so ask for the highest of the high right and we have the end of the week which is mawu mother earth you are called upon to help with environmentalism 
But this, how I see this card is that you see a reflection of yourself in everybody. So anybody you come across say, well, look at that person. Oh, look at that person. Look at that person. Aren't they, aren't they miserable? Or look at that person. Look at their hair. Look at this, that and the other. Every person you see and you don't like something about them, you don't like what they say, what they do, it's a reflection of something about yourself that you don't like. All right, I watched a little video the other day by um, Rebecca Messenger. Rebecca Marina, you can look her up on the internet. Um, she used to go with the name Rebecca Marina, now she goes with the name Rebecca Messenger. And she did a little video of the Hawaiian healing technique, Ho Apono Apono, if that's how you say it. You need to Google it. And she said that she had been betrayed. Um, it was someone close to her had betrayed her. But she also said she must have in this life, her past lives, in between lives, she must have betrayed someone for this person to betray her. She must have been carrying that energy herself otherwise it wouldn't have happened and with this Hawaiian healing technique it's excellent um, for healing okay so if you want to google it google search it ho apono apono uh, and you heal various things using this technique it's very simple but what I was saying was Rebecca Marina messenger said that because she was betrayed she must have betrayed someone herself and it doesn't have to be in this lifetime it's like karma it can be any past life you know we've had millions of lives it can be a past life and even in between lives and when you do the healing you can say through all lives in between lives all space and time now let's get back to this so this is a about whatever you see in someone else and it can be something good as well it's a reflection of you but this is also getting back to the first one the first card which was compassion and this is looking after yourself it's on the same lines really we've got compassion looking after yourself and we've got this being scared to, to move forward, being scared to um, do what you want to do, but getting help with it. And this is looking after you. It's making the best, make, yes, making the most of a good job. All right, you may not have perfect eyebrows, perfect eyes, perfect hair, perfect skin, um, but you're wonderful, God loves you anyway. And this is about making the most of what you, you've got and looking after it, looking after what you have got. You know, it's no good to sort of complain, oh dude, <laughs> if you don't put cream on your face. You know, men, men and women put cream on these days. There's all sorts of things out there. But it is about looking after yourself. Compassion. And it's about what you see in another person is a reflection of yourself but don't berate yourself that's the worst thing you can do is oh i'm always moaning i'm always nagging i'm always um criticizing if you notice that you're doing it then you can stop doing it well i hope you've enjoyed that um i'll show you my beautiful angel feather again lovely isn't it so I've got loads of angel feathers and I'm going to talk about them on a webinar or tutorial. So lots of blessings to you and thanks for watching. Bye.